Rick, were you surprised with their shooting tonight? No, I, I don't think it was the three-point shots. I mean, you know, we know that teams are capable at times of shooting the ball, and uh, it was more the one-on-one -on -one individual play. Uh, you know, when you look at uh, what uh, Rapford did, I mean, I thought he was terrific. I thought him getting to the rim and, you know, they were just picking some matchups that they wanted to play some uh, isolation basketball and, and uh, they made some good shots, but they do, they do that. And, uh, but defensively, um, I don't think we obviously did a great job when their two key guys got their average plus and uh, did a really good job moving the ball as well. You look at seven assists, two turnovers, five and two. And, but, uh, we uh, and offensively, you know, we had some shots that you'd like to think that we would make, but uh, we, uh, when you get behind, you got to change and do some things that get you a little bit out of kilter. But I give them all the credit, and uh, they deserve it. They, they they won the game. Rick, what were the defensive letdowns in the first half? Uh, probably more the one on one. I mean, they're, you know, we knew again, uh, Way Tyler could make some shots, which he did in the first half, and. Uh, you know, we had some looks. I mean, we had some looks, but they didn't go down. And uh, but it was, it still got back to one on one. And we talked about how hard we we're going to have to work to keep them from us getting too spread out and letting them get downhill with it. And uh, but they, again, they were they're will for drivers, and they did a good job finishing at the rim. Is there anything that made it hard on your guards tonight? It seemed like the perimeter was tough to get through at times offensively. I'm not sure what you're asking me. Switching the way the Texas A&M switched. Well, they, they kept, problem. again, they were going to switch and keep moving around up there to who they wanted to get into a matchup. You know, they were obviously, there's no doubt they felt like they wanted to go at Dalton. And, uh, but at the end of the shot clock, whoever match they had, they were going to try to drive. And I thought we opened up our hips too much. And, but it's something that we talked about and didn't execute it the way we needed to. And, uh, but uh, we, we got to be better off. You can't, you can't be as, I think we missed what three or four two shot fouls. Those are turnovers, and uh, when you're behind like that, and you're trying to get back in the game. You've got to you've got to capitalize when you're not having a particularly great night. And we had some great looks. I mean, we had some looks that we've been shooting all year, and got to continue to shoot. But uh, you're not making them. I thought uh, Jemai came in the second half and really brought some energy on the glass a little bit. But I think you got to give a lot of credit to Anderson Garcia too. I mean, you know he's a great offensive rebounder. And, Again, 17 rebounds, and we didn't do a, a job there at all. I mean, he, he kept uh, so many different things going for him. Rick, do you feel like the struggles tonight were similar to the struggles against South Carolina, considering the similarities in style of play? No, I, I don't know that. I'll, I'll know more after I've watched the tape a little bit. But, uh, again, we we got to get more out of the, our front line. we got to do that, no doubt about it. But when you get – you you know, we got ourselves in a hole, and, again, they had a lot to do with that. But uh, we just we just never seemed like we were in sync and playing the way we want to play. And uh, I mean, you look at the guys, and you guys have seen it. We've had games where you know Santi struggled uh, one for six. Uh, Zakai put too much on him. We we and yeah, he went the distance, and I kept asking him, I said, "You need me to give you a blow?" He said, "No, I'm not coming out." We need more guys like that, really. You know that. I mean, he he just wants to win. Whatever it takes, he wants to do it. And uh, but Dalton, you look at his numbers; they, they look good. But he, for a guy that can score like he can, you can't go. Uh, what was he from the free throw line? Uh, four for nine and missed two two shot fouls. What's Jonas not giving you right now? Or is Jonas? What's he not doing? Well, right you got, now? He got we need him to finish those shots. He, he, we got to have him in there. Finishing shots. We need him to do that. We need Tobey to do it. Uh, we 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 got to get something from those guys. Are you surprised there aren't more guys with the guy's mindset? Mm, well, he's. I mean, he's one of the kind. I'll tell you. I've done this a long time, and you haven't had a lot of guys like that. I mean, it's just in who he is. It's his DNA, and it's everything about him. And I've, I've said from the beginning, the biggest thing he's done since he's been at Tennessee is. Uh, his, his DNA and he, from the first day he walked on campus, it affected everybody. How Great much do you think did uh, Dalton's foul trouble in the second half impacted your team? I don't know how much it did because you know what, he still was, they were going at him and uh, it'll be interesting to see when we break it down from our point of view, you know, graded out how much uh, he one-on-one -on -one that he gave up. And you've, you've got to be able to guard your 
your area and but you just can't open up and let people get to the rim and we did that way too much rick uh with AM has a pretty unique resume to this point by your eyeball test does that look like a tournament team well I th oh, no doubt i think we got 10 right now 10 11 teams that when it's all said and done or ncaa teams i think we got the best basketball league in the country i don't think and i don't think it's close i don't care what anybody says right now the sec is the best basketball league in the country and and uh, they're, and every league's tough, but don't it is every league is tough, but uh, there's like I said, there's a case for nine or ten teams right now, and, and there's a lot of basketball left to play, so it'll it'll work out, it'll it'll show itself in the end, but uh, there's no doubt right now that um, that's where my thoughts are with this league. I think it's that good. Rick, what went wrong at points offensively? Were you trying to get inside and couldn't, or what was no? Again, I, I don't know what what do we you know we need to pass the ball, but need to make shots and uh you know we had we you know we we're going to shoot the ball we i mean we think we're a good shooting team but we we got to make some shots but that that's not you look at they ended up making what two more three that's not what the difference in the game was the difference in the game was we were did a poor job at the free throw line and uh they might could say the same thing but uh uh it's the there's extra possessions i mean Think about it. Nine offensive rebounds. Nine more possess. That's nine more possessions, or they score from it. I mean, right there in itself it says a lot. I mean, they came up with fourteen, and we ended up with twelve. But when we were trying to get back in it, it's those extra possessions they got that, that hurt us. Anything else? Uh, you've seen a lot of games in this in this gym. Uh, how did the atmosphere feel for a for a late conference uh, battle between two teams? I mean, it was uh, it was fine. I mean, you know, I've, like I said, I've been here a lot, and I don't think it's overwhelming. If that's what you're asking me, but I don't think there's a there aren't many arenas in the country that I would say are overwhelming. You know, I mean, I've got a lot of respect for uh, A and M, and been coming over, been coming a lot, well, obviously. But uh, uh, I think someone should teach them about overrated because I think it takes away from their win, and they're a good basketball team. I mean, when you start chanting overrated. Uh, you're taking diminishing the fact that their team just played a heck of a basketball game and beat a good team, and uh, if we're if we're overrated, what does that say for their team? And uh, but they've been doing that for how long have I been coming? Twenty five years, you know. So maybe you should write it and tell them. <laughs> Grant Ben last two. Rick, do you have any concerns with this group with these kind of performances at this point in the season? No, I mean it's college basketball. I mean. A long way to go. I mean, I tell everybody, you go back a year ago, the team that won the national championship went through a five-game skid this time of year and got it going at the right time. And it, it only hurts you if you don't learn from it and you don't respond from it. If you look at it, can be honest with yourself uh, individually. And if we, as coaches, we break down what we didn't do a good job with. And, uh, you know, so, and I think we got a program that's transparent with each other. We'll, we'll talk about that. But... Uh, you know, still you, you look at it. Uh, we got it down to 12 and with plenty of time, but couldn't move the needle past that. Rick, with Jemai and Dalton, it seemed like you were kind of going back and forth, getting them in and out of the game. I, I guess what were you trying to communicate with them or what you didn't like to, to maybe pull them out of? Well, times? Dalton had four fouls. And at the end, when we were going to start fouling, we, we wanted him to stay in the game, obviously, and shoot the ball. So uh, when uh, – that's when we went at the end when we were looking to foul. We didn't do a good job in that situation. We had a chance to foul the person that we wanted to foul twice, and we didn't do it. And uh, that's where, you know, we again, we'll learn from that situation. But uh, every game you go out, you, you're going to have a chance to learn something. And uh, the question is, after you learn it, will you continue to make that mistake? And I don't think we will. But uh, it gets down to situational play some there at the end. That's why we were moving them in and out. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. Love a Tennessee player available shortly after.